Hello everyone, this is Vishali from Monomos Me team. As we know that a person comes with a personality and the personality defines with the education and the curricular activities. So today we have one of the talented star who was the winner of Monomos Me International Essay Competition as well. So we have Tanish here. Hi Tanish. Hello ma'am, good afternoon. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm fine ma'am, thank you. Okay, so Tanish is a 10th standard student who is living in Navi, Mumbai, and he is studying in Sadhu Vaswani International School, which is also in Navi, Mumbai, and he is 15 years old. So, Tanish, uh, I just want to know, apart from studies, what you do? Um, I, before the pandemic, I used to play cricket. That was my favorite. That is my favorite hobby. But okay. after uh, the pandemic started, then I now re uh, read books. I love reading about And I also sometimes play some comp uh, sport competitions online, like chess. That's amazing. So apart from his studies, and he mentioned that he has a good uh, interest in the cricket, but he also received first prize in a poetry event, which is organized by Animal Water Bowl Project that happens last year. And he was rewarded with a good amount of uh, money and uh, which is of vouchers. And his poem is also published on his web on, uh, I think, AWBP website in 12 languages. That's really amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Ma and not limited with this, he also won the third prize in chess competition uh, in February 2020. And when we talk about the uh, curricular activities, then we don't can't forget about the educations as well. So he was the second holder uh, in the Bharat Ko Jano quiz in 2019, which was organized by Bharat Vikas Parishad. He's also rewarded as the all-rounder trophy twice by the school in 2012 and 2015. That's really amazing. And in, he also got the second position in essay writing competition which is organized by Nehru Science Center during the Vigilance Awareness Week in 2020. So these are the achievements apart from our monomosly international essay competition. He is the winner of our essay competition as well. So heartily congratulations to you. Thank you. So how do you come to know about monomosly international essay competition? Uh, I got to know about it last year in October. Uh, there is a platform there to compete. So I was just browsing through uh, the various competitions that were given and I uh, came across your competition. And I went on the website and then I was just in awe that uh, this is a great, uh, great competition and that is held every month. And the time fits, uh, fits so well uh, means that I had my semester one examination because I'm in 10 uh, last year in December. So that was between 29th November and 15th December, which means that the uh, competition for November, I could participate in that also and for December as well because I got 10 days to submit my entry. So that's good. That's amazing. So uh, I, you have achieved so many things. I mean, you are in the 10th standard till this time you have achieved so many things. So what inspires you? Uh, there is this part, uh, particular thought that inspires me a lot that uh, whatever I do, I am not doing it uh, for myself, but I always keep in mind that whatever I am doing, I am doing, uh, doing it for India, for my country. Because uh, whatever I do now, it will affect India in a small manner only, but it will. And uh, this thought I keep in mind always what, in whatever I do. That's really cool. I mean, as you are in the 10th standard and you are thinking about India and uh, yeah, we can't make a huge impact, but we can start with a small one. That's true and that you are started. I'm really proud of you. Uh, you are in the 10th standard as 10th standard is a very crucial time for you to choose your career. So how do you get the extra time for writing or other activities apart from your studies? Uh, whenever we love something, we always try to do uh, finish off other stuff quickly so similarly uh, i finish off my studies quickly and after having dinner at night uh, i spend a few hours writing the articles 
that's amazing that's really good so uh do your teachers know about your writing and how supportive they are in that uh yes they know in fact uh, it was because of them that i got introduced to these competitions on the online platform in 2020 uh, they used to send the links to various competition and it is in fact through these links only i re uh, reached dare to compete and then i got to know about your competition and they just uh, they keep on encouraging me to participate in such competitions that's amazing i mean Teachers are motivating more and more. That's really great thing that teachers are doing these days. Uh, so whenever you write, what kind of difficulties you face? The first difficulty comes when I just open my laptop and sit on MS Word. I think that what I have to write, sometimes I stare at the books, sometimes at the window, sometimes at the door. And then I collect, uh, recollect everything. And then when I get to, uh, when I, uh, get the thoughts in my mind then I just do jot them down on uh, MS Word and then the second difficulty comes as to in what manner should I arrange them so that it makes sense okay. the introduction, body, conclusion and then I just copy paste, copy paste uh, above, down, left, right sometimes making mistakes but ultimately I manage. The third difficulty is that what should the title be of my article sometimes uh, in some competitions they give us the title but in some others, just the theme is given. So I always leave a space at the start uh, for the title. And then I just sit down and stare at the screen as what title I should write so that it relates to the body of the article. Oh, that's actually as for a writer, it's a really tough task. What you mentioned, all the three points are really tough things for the writers. And I can understand, understand your pain. <laughs> okay, so what do you want to be in your life? I have a lot of things in mind currently. Uh, if I will say that I want to become a flight engineer today, I will say that tomorrow I will say that I want to become a cricketer. So at the end of the day, I just think that I will go where fate takes me. That's it. Okay. So as you are in the 10th standard, now it's a high, I mean, it's a time for you to choose your stream. Now you have to choose the subjects, is it? Uh, yes. After a few months. After a few months, you have to. So you have to make a mind now. Okay, so who is your inspiration? Uh, I, I have uh, two inspirations. Uh, one is uh, Prime Minister Narendra, Mission Narendra Modi and the second is Subhash Chandra Bose. Uh, first of all, both are patriots uh, and they serve their country. Uh, in the case of Mr. Modi ji, uh, Modi ji uh, gives, uh, give, inspires me to never lose faith. Uh, he had gone through financial struggles uh, in his childhood. In spite of that, he had faith in himself and now we know where he is. True. From Subhash Chandra Bose, I, uh, I am inspired to serve my country till my very last death. That's good. That's great. Okay, so uh, what is the main goal of your life? My main goal of, uh, the main goal of my life is that I want to serve my people, my nation in any way possible uh, wherever i be whatever i be at what position in life i will try i will always try to uh, serve my nation in any way possible that's good so uh, how you are expecting your life in the future like now you have to give a shape to your life so how you are expecting it uh, actually uh, the goal of my life is to serve my people so i am expecting a life where i will be serving the society uh, uh, actually, the goal of my life is to uh, revolutionize the country because mm -hmm. there are some uh, certain evils in the society that needs, need to be eradicated now. True. So, is there anything that you want to share with our audience? I want to share this thought only that, always, that is always in my mind that wherever you go wherever our audience whoever is watching me right now wherever they go at what at any point in their life they have to always remember india because they have to never uh, forget the motherland where they were born and brought up i mean uh, we become engineers we become doctors we become lawyers and then we all go outside and then we settle down there and we forget our country so i i want them to remember this throughout their life that their nation needs them india needs them 
so at a very young age you said a very true things that people have to believe that india comes first and they have to remember india wherever they go whatever they do at the end they have to make the priority uh, priority about their nationality yes we can't make a huge impact but with our efforts we can make a small impact in the nation so try to help others just with the small things it can make a huge change in someone else's life and we'll start do that i'll start do that so thank you tanish for joining us have a great thank you ma'am and have a a uh, better future i'll just wish you you will have a great future and i hope that you will achieve a success that you are looking for thank you so much ma'am for giving this uh, opportunity thank you have a nice day